I recently had a lot of fun looking through L'Hopital's rules in various books since I have a few calculus and or analysis books and I found it very interesting how each book decided, how each author decided to treat uh, L'Hopital's rules. Uh, the, the best introduction to the subject I found, incredibly enough, was in Thomas and Finney where uh, you learn, you know, that he, they use an example and then they also show how uh, you start from the limit for a derivative and then you double them up and then of course they cancel out and that's how you do one of the simplest proofs for one of the indeterminate forms and I love the way Thomas and Finney lays it out with uh, by classifying the indeterminate forms and calling them su and calling them by them by their name also using many examples and then but then once <coughs> once you get to uh, Cauchy's MVT mean value theorem then it is also used for one of the other indeterminate forms more complex so Thomas and Finney did a pretty good job at the elementary level but really it's a great bridge the way it is explained with so many examples and so many indeterminate forms uh, it's a really great bridge I found to the way uh, the theorem is explained in uh, your analysis books proper. Okay, so when we go to uh, Wade, in the case of Wade, that's where you get really a uh, what you call like an analysis style proof where uh, he doesn't really make it so simple as Thomas and Finney. Uh, but goes in, into detail of how of the proof and then uh, doesn't really call them indeterminate forms, just calls them by uh, cases for uh, whether the limit is plus or minus infinity, whether it's zero. So it effectively it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. But in the case of Wade, as a full analysis book should do, uh, the proof actually goes into detail of how he applies the Cauchy MVT for one of the indeterminate forms and then gets at the result. So this is really what you would call your standard analysis book uh, proof for L'Hopital's rule. Very quick uh, but also very thorough. Uh, so yeah, there you have how Wade does it. Then you go uh, to Rudin and then Rudin has a very similar proof uh, to the one that uh, that Wade has. So it's just really the same proof uh, with different variables. Simpler, if you will. Not as many, no, no indices, no subsequent uh, indices, uh, but also effectively the same proof. Uh, also very thorough, the way uh, an analysis book would do it. Brief, poetic, uh, clean, so that's the, your typical root and style. Then the next book that I looked at was uh, Bardo and Sherbert, and Bardo and Sherbert actually had what I think is the best uh, exposition of L'Hopital's rules uh, after Thomas and Finney. So lots of detail, lots of explanation of what you're really getting at in the proof about the limit A, limit B, uh, and then just going through very careful exposition of all the different in, uh, indeterminate forms. So really, I think Bardo and Sherbert did a great job uh, for a beginner like me to lay it out. Right? So, yeah. Very nice. Uh, lots of details. Uh, some examples the way Thomas and Finney did it, and just goes through, and it's really several pages, gory detail about L'Hopital's rules, which I think is fantastic for uh, the beginner. And I think me reading this book is in my future, probably. So yeah, other indeterminate forms. It just keeps going. It's, it's really incredible how much detail there is for L'Hopital's rules in Bar uh, Bardo and Sherbert.
and then I think that's it. Then some problems. So then, last, and I think least, uh, is the treatment that was done by Terence in Terence Tao's book, uh, which is a lot. It's very brief. Just a very simple layout of the theorem. Uh, a very quick. Oh, and then one of the proofs is relegated to an exercise, uh, and then a quick uh, treatment also. So. Uh, Terence Tao shows to do it very quickly, but of course one of the things that we must not ding Some of these books for is that it all depends on the uh, level at which that author is going for uh, In some cases some of these theorems are really considered more calculus theorems Than they are theorems that would be treated in depth in an analysis book And so there is more like a philosophical issue of the dividing line be where calculus ends and mathematical analysis begins.